Okay, what's happening? We're going out nice and early for a photo shoot. And we're going to shoot the shit out of this four drive at a rolling photo. Should be good. Take you with us to have a look. We're going to one up this. That's our goal this morning. We're rigged up. We've got a GoPro for added flare for the Proton. Got the Go and grab again though? Yeah, right. Nothing to do with that. What happens when Nick lends me his car? Oh shit, we're four driving! Nick's <laughs> close! <laughs> Go this way. It's gonna be so shitty with me, eh? <laughs> do come back and do it! He's probably Snapchat again! Do you know how to get out? So Danielle's decided to go fucking 60k an hour through the fucking paddock on the way home. A little bit of fun after the shoot. I've always wanted to do it. See if she can find an exit. You can't do it in my car. That way, that's the creek there. You're going to go in the creek if you go I'm that way. I'm going to go in the creek. Oh, there's some mullards. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Have a Mars bar. You're so, so tense. Is it a Snickers? Snickers. Yes. <laughs> need a Snickers. need a Snickers. We'll stop the video now. We don't want people to I lack. This is what Nico actually used to spray the wheels with. Spray can. We're back in the office, we're gonna have a look at these photos. So this morning we went out and did a set of roller photos. We're chasing a certain type of photo. Been following this guy's stuff for a while. His stuff's amazing. He's a great photographer. And his shots just simply unreal. Captures everything. Blurry around here, perfect, heaps of movement. Subjects nice and sharp. Look at the car, so sharp. Great concept. They've just executed it beautifully. However, I believe they may have used a rig here where you bolt a big fiberglass pole off the bonnet, comes out over here like this, and it hangs the camera about here, you know, in front of the car. Then basically, you just go home and you Photoshop it. So, it's an amazing shot. I love it. I look up to it. But it's a rig shot as well. So we went out this morning to try and go one up on that and without a rig. And um, I'll show you in a sec how we went. I think we went alright. Okay, so I finished some Photoshop techniques with some of these photos. I'm going to show you what I've come up with. Now, just remember this is what we were going for today. A roller, less the rig, we don't have the rig, and we wanted to top what these guys have done here, it's pretty cool, this is a good concept, they've done an awesome job, and we want to be a bit different, do something a bit fresh, so what we come up with was a roller, obviously, of my patrol, complete opposite to what they used, they used a golf, a little sporty Euro spec golf. I've used a big beast of patrol, opposite end of the scale, and where they were using a rag to polish the rims, polish my rims, that's cute. We sprayed my wheels with spray paint. People who know the car will know that this whole car has been rattle canned, the whole paint job, it's been rattle canned. A lot of people can't get over it that it's rattle can job. So to exaggerate it even further and prove to people that yeah we rattle can this car every day. 
is my co-pilot rattle canning the wheels and tyres with some gloss black spray paint zero F's given so our roller is a little bit different, different car, different concept I tried to step it up a bit by putting something on the bonnet of the car it's quite dangerous here's what it is, he happy to do it driver was happy to drive the car like that everyone knew each other, trusted each other, trusted their work and we did it pretty well, controlled conditions, you know, it's pretty safe and it was fixed to the bonnet pretty well we've come up with this, so end results this is the original you flick across here I've lost the white lines in the road also lost the white bollard on the side of the road over here that was here the white line at the back took that out this makes it smooth and flawless makes it more focused on the car than the actual lines on the road again phone screens a bit dark for some reason around this area probably because I've got the rim light on the light in the rim on Let's see if I can turn it off quickly They make much difference but anyway. So compared to the original, because the driver had the window down, the fair bit of sunlight coming in, it blew up these windows, make them look real bright. So I've just darkened the windows up a bit, make them look like T5 tint, which they actually are. Darken it back up, took the lines out, smoothed it up, just cleaned it up a bit, straightened it up, and that's it. I haven't really gone over the top with this one. You'll see this up later. And then just down the road further, there's no house in the background here, which is my preference, so I'll use that one as well. Whereas here there's a house there. Not much we can do about that, can't move a house. And I'm not gonna photoshop it out either. I'm just not that interested in photoshopping photos of my own car to that extent, so we just use this one down the road further, it's all clear backdrop. Beautiful sun blowing through. It was a mint sunrise. This again is the original. You can see the white lines. The little cat on the road. White lines here. Tint's very light and see through again. Same thing. Dark in the tint. Lines are out. And that's it. Shadows are still there, but I'm not going to Photoshop shadows out. I want to look real. Ultimately, could make it look like this. But. We're not gurus in Photoshop, and that's not what we're going for, so something a bit different. Just trying to do our own thing, and that's what we've come up with. Hopefully, get these up later tonight, and we'll do the Proton one as well. Which I haven't really shown you much of yet how they come out, but give you a quick sneak peek. Person doing their exercise. <laughs> So we just did the same thing as what they did, which I don't like copying stuff, but we'll see how we go with it. <laughs> 